one more week of practice, I guess. How does Tariq look after that? Uh, I, he's doing fine. He's doing fine. I think it's a it's another week to where you kind of begin to rev him up a little bit more and keep putting more on his plate and see how he responds. But but so far he's done well. What went into the decision to go with uh, Lavisco over Raheem and kick returner? Well, Raheem was down, so that uh, that kind of took care of that right there. Right, but in theory, you would make a decision on who was be Yeah, player. but I, you know. To go, I understand. It, 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 there's a lot of different factors that that go into it. Um, you know, we we had it in another linebacker, and so just the way the numbers. It's not always offense, defense, or positionally. It's just kind of how you're working the whole roster at the time. How does Camus' spot on defense affect how you'll be able to use him if you'll be able to use him? Oh, uh, we'll just play it all out. You know, I think that uh, that's kind of the. What we're supposed to do in our area is just kind of work a little magic there. And and uh, everybody's up. We've trained a lot of guys. And, and we'll just kind of see how that all plays out. What is it about Kamu that, it, I mean, he feels like a guy who can do a little bit of everything. I saw him long snapping during training camp and just doing it. What is it about a guy like that that kind of makes him able to fill so many different roles? Well, obviously, you know, he's a good player with a lot of position flexibility. But with his position position flexibility, he has a lot of intelligence with regards to, to what he can do. I mean, he can play a lot of different positions. And I think that as a special teams player in our world, that allows me to use him in a lot of different areas. So and he, he's a guy that can run. He's instinctual, uh, great change of direction. And I think what is this, his eighth year in the league? I mean, he, he's been doing it at a high level. So we need to have him continue to do that for us. Did you have to pull him out of, of teams mid midstream last on Monday? Yeah, when when Shaq went down, uh, unfortunately, there you know we're always making changes and and uh, adapting as the game goes, and and that's what we did. And and uh, the other guys they, they they stepped up, so I was really proud of uh, what they did. Uh, we still got to get better. We still got a long way to go, uh, but it was a step in the right direction. There was a lot of talk about the motion. Uh, field goal block by the Patriots the other day. What? Obviously, there's an advantage because you get the speed, but what are the disadvantages of doing that? Well, if he doesn't time it up right, you know, and then obviously when you're going to use that, I can't remember what the down distance was. It was a heck of a play. Uh, and they've been kind of doing some of that stuff in the past with, with Matthew Slater. This one just happened to hit, and the guy did a great job of, of, of timing it up. Uh, kind of makes you think on the other side, making sure that you know you need to change some things on the other side just so people don't get a beat on you. When you say you got to ramp things up for Tariq a little bit this week, does that mean potentially he could play? You still think he's another week away? Or what? Well, I would never, you know, I have to stay in my lane. I can never talk about who's up and who's down. That's, that's coach's area. And uh, my job, as I always say, is when we go to practice, just make sure working to get them better. And uh, that's really just my focus. But did you see that? You talked about the explosiveness. Of, did you see any of that in, in the little practice he's had so far? Yeah, no, he's doing he's doing well. I, I think that uh, I think that he's on track. I mean, it's it's a player that hasn't played in, in a couple years. So, uh, as we always say, you're just kind of getting a little pledge there and, and dusting it off the shelf. You mentioned having another linebacker, uh, Charles, uh, that you guys got from the Jets. How did you guys find uh, like find him? Was it on film? Did you know about him before the draft? What, where, what was that? All about? You know, our personnel department does a great job, and we're always working with them. And, and uh, it was one of those things that I think any time at the end of training camp when you're going to cuts, uh, everybody's projecting who might be there, who might not be there, and then you just kind of start working film and. and uh, we addressed that, and, and I'm glad that we got him. He's a good, really good young player. He played well the other day, and I just think the uh, I just think he's going to keep getting better. How comfortable are you with the place kicking? Well, so far so good. You know, I mean, today's another another day to get a little better. I know, as I always say, that's coach speak, but it is it is true. Um, you know, I I think that. You guys asked me the first week how going to Atlanta, how would he respond going back to Atlanta? So we were kind of still living there, uh, but uh, he's 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 worked worked himself well. He's hitting the ball well, and, and hopefully he uh, sets himself up for a good game in Seattle. How do you manufacture sound operations and calls for Seattle uh, this week? It's loud. Everybody has to be on point. I mean, it's a fun place to play. It really is. It's one of my funnest places to go to. Um, 
but uh, you, you do. You got to make sure that we're all tight on the sideline and, and everyone has the call because if somebody obviously in our area doesn't have the call and they think something else, they, the movie could go bad and we don't get any redos. Besides the noise, any unique challenges to playing out there either with elements, which probably aren't, or their personnel? Just the personnel. They're well coached. They have guys that can run. They have Nick Ballore. I think he has uh, over 3,700 career snaps on special teams, a 13 year vet. Um, you know, the returner, kick returner, Dallas is explosive, downhill, strong runner. Uh, and then Seattle's always had just great athletes. And uh, you, you, when you turn the tape on, it, it, it speaks to you. We'll, we'll have our hands full and, and we will be challenged. And I'm excited to see where our guys are at to see how they play and, and those type of things. But it uh, should be fun. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.